How Stock Price Predictor Works Hi, everybody. If you're looking to become a full-time data scientist and artificial intelligence AI expert from scratch, then you are at the right place. Today, I'll explain about how Stock Price Predictor works. Before diving into details, let's have a look at the key points of Stock Price Predictor. These are Data Collection Data Pre-Processing Creating Stack LSTM Model Predicting Stock Using Test Set Plotting what is data collection let us start with knowing what data collection is data collection is the process of gathering and measuring information from countless different sources to use the data we collect to develop practical artificial intelligence ai and machine learning solutions it must be collected and stored in a way that makes sense for the business problem at hand but you must know first that why do we need data collection? Collecting data allows you to capture a record of past events so that we can use data analysis to find recurring patterns. From those patterns, you build predictive models using machine learning algorithms that look for trends and predict future changes. What is data pre-processing? Data pre-processing is the process of transforming raw data into an understandable format. You must be thinking, do we really need to process the data? Yes. It is also an important step in data mining, as we cannot work with raw data. The quality of the data should be checked before applying machine learning or data mining algorithms. Now a lot of people wonder what basically preprocessing do and on what aspects it works. Preprocessing gives us accuracy, completeness, consistency, timeliness, believability, interpretability. Preprocessing is crucial because of the four basic aspects. These aspects include data cleaning data integration data reduction data transformation why to create stack lstm model we know that a human brain does not always start thinking from the scratch a similar technology is now available as lstm long short-term memory lstm is an artificial recurrent neural network rnn architecture used in the field of deep learning unlike standard feedforward neural networks lstm has feedback connections it can process not only single data points, such as images, but also entire sequences of data, such as speech or video. For example, LSTM is applicable to tasks such as unsegmented, connected handwriting recognition, speech recognition and anomaly detection in network traffic or IDS, intrusion detection systems. You must be wondering why LSTM is better for stocks? LSTM can learn long-term dependencies in the dataset. Therefore, as this type of model is trained on more and more data, it could be possible for this delay to diminish. LSTM RNN outperformed DNN, averaging a 60.6% .6 directional accuracy for weekly predictions. Let's develop an understanding of how LSTM works. LSTM have internal mechanisms called gates that can regulate the flow of information. A common LSTM unit is composed of a cell, an input gate, an output gate and a forget gate. The cell remembers values over arbitrary time intervals, and the three gates regulate the flow of information into and out of the cell. These gates can learn which data in a sequence is important to keep or throw away. By doing that, it can pass relevant information down the long chain of sequences to make predictions. Almost all state-of-the-art results based on recurrent neural networks are achieved. LSTMs can be found in speech recognition, speech synthesis, and text generation. You can even use it to generate captions for videos. But what do you need to create an LSTM? To create or build LSTM, we need to import a couple of modules from Keras. Sequential for initializing the neural network. Dense for adding a densely connected neural network layer. LSTM for adding the long short-term memory layer. Dropout for adding dropout layers that prevent overfitting. Now let's talk about predicting stock using test set. In order to predict the future stocks, we are all set, but we still have to do some things that are as follows. Load in the test set. Merge the training set and the test set. Set the time step according to your requirements. Use min-max scaler to transform the new dataset. Reshape the dataset when done. After making the predictions, we use inverse transform to get back the stock prices in normal readable format. Moving to last part of this topic that is plotting dataset. After making the predictions we have a last thing to do, plotting the dataset now. Finally we'll use Matplotlib to visualize the result of the predicted stock price and the real stock price. If you are wondering what Matplotlib is, 
Matplotlib is a cross-platform, data visualization and graphical plotting library for Python and its numerical extension NumPy. As such, it offers a viable open-source alternative to MATLAB. Developers can also use Matplotlib's APIs, application programming interfaces, to embed plots in GUI applications. If you're interested in learning more about starting a machine learning and AI career, then be sure to check out our courses at the first link in the description. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss more videos helping you to start your data science and AI career and more. Check out this playlist of our data science and machine learning lessons and see you in the next video. Take care. Thank <laughs> you.